Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an MSI installer for your c .net application using Visual Studio 2022. This guide will help you package your application into a professional installer, making it easy to distribute and install on other machines. So whether you are preparing for deployment or just want to streamline the installation process, this step-by-step -step tutorial will get you there in about 10 minutes. So let's get it. So before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it as well. Yes, to get started, obviously make sure you've got Visual Studio 2022 installed. Let's get started by launching our Visual Studio 2022 and continue with our code here. Yeah? So once you open the Visual Studio, come to the extensions and then manage extension. So make sure you have you have internet because we're going to we're going to select this here. Yeah? We're going to set search our set our project. So, th so this is what we're going to need. This is a Microsoft Visual Studio installer project. So this extension provides the same functionality that currently exists in Visual Studio 2019 for Visual Studio installer project. Yeah. Make sure you 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 click on install. So once once the download is completed, make sure you, you you close the Visual Studio for the installation to start and follow the on-screen is installation process and once that is complete here yeah, let's come back to the Visual Studio we're going to start by creating a, a project a new project okay so this project we're going to create a desktop project so let's go to our project types and select desktop here yeah. And let's look for C sharp WPF ap application. So we're going to select C sharp WPF application, okay? And here, obviously, you can configure all the project details, yeah. But we're not going to look too much into that. So click on the next and create the project. So as you can see here now, we've got a basic WPF application created project created for us yeah so this is what we're going to do we're going to add some few stuff to it so let's go ahead by just adding a background to the to, to the main window so we can select whatever color that you want okay uh, let me put something colorful so let's put Indian red and then Inside here, let's put something like a label. And let's write something. First WPF app with MSI installer. So let's put something like this, okay? And let's save it. Let's save it. And let's go ahead and build the project. So right click the project and build. So once we've got the build completed here, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go and uh, rebuild, rebuild project. So we have the rebuild completed here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and right click on the solution and add new project. So here, as you can see, we've got desktop selected. So let's go back and, and put it back on our project here. Yeah. And let's go ahead and select um set up set up project here. Yeah? So this is what we're looking for. Select it and click on the next. So 
So here you can give you can give it a name, and I'll call it YT video for YouTube video. Yeah, and I click on the create. So once you you, you create it for the first time, yeah, this is what you get. Okay, so let's go ahead and do um, um uh, do some configuration. Okay. So as you can see here now, we've got this file system open yeah, uh, automatically. But if you don't have it open automatically, go ahead and and right click on the on the on the setup project video. You go to video, I mean and view, and then you click on the file system. Okay. So this file system, this will open this this file or this dialog. So as you can see here, on the file system here, we have application folder, um, users desktop, and then the users program menu. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We right click on the applications folder. Right click on, and then add project output. Okay. So we select the application folder and then add project output so here we select the primary output and then we leave it as it is so this contains the DLL or the executable built by the project okay so here we have this configuration we for now we're just going to leave it as it is yeah, and click on OK so as you can see here now, we've got the, the primary output. So here on the primary output, you right click it and then click on the create shortcut. Yeah. And then we call the shortcut my desk app. Yeah. For just desktop. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy it. Yeah. So this is what we have here. So we we, we, we drag it. And and drop it inside the user um, users program menu. So we right click it here again. Create another shortcut. Yeah, put the same name, and then we drag it and we, we drop it inside the users um, desktop. Okay. So we have it here. We have one here and we have one here. So on the application folder again, we create one more shortcut, and we leave it as it is. For now yeah so this is what we have here now so to customize your set um, your, 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 your your setup you can right click on the um, on the setup project and click on the properties so here you can make changes to the the properties type I mean you can make changes to whatever you want yeah but as we're not looking too much into this so we're just going to click on OK okay so now this is what we're going to do. We're going to right click on the on the um, on the setup project and then build it. So once the build is, is completed, yeah, we right click on the project again and then we go into the open folder in File Explorer. So we open it here and we go to debug. So as we can see here now, we've got the setup file here. So, so we can select it. And as you can see here now, we've got we've got a, the MSI wizard here. So we can follow the installation process. And then here you can select whatever that is applicable to you. Okay, so here you can install it for yourself or for anyone who uses it computer so let's put it on for everyone and click on the next and then here everything is ready so we go ahead and click on next again so, so this will actually go ahead and install it so as you can see here now uh, the um, application has been installed successfully so let's close it minimize it and come back so as you can see here now we have the app is here now where well, that's my my desktop app okay so um, I won't complicate you too much. So I'll leave this video here for now. Yeah. So 
once again go ahead and then have a look again so have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace